name's Tim. You may remember me from such videos as our Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT and the FJ Cruiser video from before. Right now we're doing a walk around video of our 2015 ASX XLS. We're going to walk around the outside of this video, go over the quality of the car and some of the features too. First thing you'll notice against this pearl white paint is I have fitted a smoked bonnet protector just along the front there to help prevent stone chips from damaging the paint. This car also does have slimline black and white number plates to really go against that, that theme of black and white uh, all over the whole car. We do have some daytime running lights down here around the fog lights and these nice big chrome headlights as well. Now as for quality, looking at this paint it is in fantastic condition, I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera but we do have a nice pearlescent sparkle to this white, it's not just your boring flat white that you normally have. Coming around now, this is our first alloy rim, now this is an 18 inch rim on this model and it does have a two tone colour scheme to it, that rim has no gutter rush on it and it goes between chrome and black. Nice little chrome accent here on the driver's side panel with colour coded side mirrors as well as built in indicators. Looking at the windows, I would recommend getting some tint on this car because that's just bringing the, the whole black and white together would just work really well. Colour coded door handles, one light scratch here just behind the door handle as well. What, moving down the rest of the side of the car, I can't really find much else. This car does have push button start and keyless entry and we've got a nice little chrome garnish down just below the window. Having a look at our second tyre now with our premium alloy wheel, that wheel is once again also in fantastic condition, I can't spot any marking on that either. Coming around the back we do have these nice big red tail lights which really offset between the black and white theme that we've had so far across the back of the car. This car does have a reverse camera as well as rear parking sensors and it is fitted with a tow bar. When we open up the back of the ASX you'll find for a small medium sedan, uh, wagon we do have a nice amount of storage space in here. There's little to no marking in here that I can see at very least, it's just this little bit here but that might even wipe off with some cleaner. Having a look under here, we do have our space saver wheel and it has never been fitted to the car which is really good to see as well as all of your emergency off-road tools. We do have a privacy cover here which you can actually just attach to the underside of the, uh, of the tailgate so then it opens up when you open up the boot to get inside and when you close it, it'll keep everything nice and hidden. Easy grab handle and just a nice little push down and it just clicks back into place. Moving around now to the passenger side, we've got our fuel filler cap here above our third premium alloy wheel. Now having a look at this alloy wheel, once again, there is no marking. This wheel is in absolutely fantastic condition. In fact, all over the whole car is in brilliant condition. I'd highly recommend, if you're considering coming down and having a look, to just come down and drive it because you're not going to be let down by the body. I'm actually trying to find some little blemishes and I, I can't. Like, everything's just wiping off with my finger that I think might be a, a bit of a mark. On the top here, we do have these roof racks as well as our big sunroof on top of the car as well, but we'll go over that a little bit more when we sit inside the car. Having a look at our second mirror, once again, colour-coded side mirror caps. And moving now down to our last wheel, if there's any wheel that will have gutter rushing on it, it's this one. But this wheel, like all the others, is in fantastic condition with a brand new tyre on it, so you don't even have to worry about that. What I'm going to do now is just pop the bonnet, and then we're going to talk about the two-litre motor that Mitsubishi has designed under here. This two litre motor is paired with a CVT transmission, making this car very, very fuel economic as well. So we just pop our little control arm under there. There it is, our two litre MyVec engine. Now this engine is a petrol engine and it puts out 110 kilowatts of power as well as 197 newton meters of torque. With a 63 litre fuel tank averaging 7.4 litres to 100 k's, you can get around 851 kilometres on average from a full tank of fuel. This car is also very safe with its seven airbags and five star ANCAP safety rating. Moving to the interior of our 2015 ASX, this is the 15.5 model upgrade. So you do get a few features along with this car uh, to go along with the sunroof, which we'll talk about later. So over here to my right, we do have full electric window control, nice little chrome inside handle, child lock for the electric windows and doors as well as side mirror adjustment and a button to fold in the side mirrors. They do also, also fold in when you lock the car as well making parking very very uh, nice and easy. Moving the steering wheel to the right we do have our parking sensors down here with our traction control and our fog light angling button too. It might be a little bit hard to see but they're all just down there nice and easy to reach. We've got automatic headlights in this car which is just one of my favourite features that you can possibly have in a car on our right hand control and with our indicator. We do have our paddle shifters as well for just going through the gears manually if necessary. Moving the wheel now to the left, we do have our front and rear windshield wipers. The wheel itself has got a nice leather finish with a bit of piano black with our 
uh, cruise control here on the right and our full media and Bluetooth here on the rest. The steering wheel itself is height and reach adjustable, adjustable and telescopic in its operation as well. So you can just lock it into place wherever it's comfortable. Push button start just here to the left of the steering wheel. Now moving to the center of the car, we do have a nice piano black finish around our touch screen. This car is fitted with navigation. Just while we're looking at that screen, I'll throw it into reverse and show you how clear our reversing camera is. You'd also have those little lines there to help give you a, a good judge of distance. And you can even see the little toe ball down there so you won't accidentally hit that on anything either. Now this car does have full Bluetooth like I mentioned before and it also does have a CD player as well which is really really handy. Most moving down from that we do have our air conditioner which we got running at the moment because it is a bit warm today so we do have it set to our nice cold temperature and it is doing a fantastic job. We've got a plastic grommet in here in our 12 volt socket as well as a nice little uh, cup holder ashtray which has never been used and a bit of storage behind that. Just moving down from that, we do have a leather wrap on our uh, automatic shifter. Throwing this down into drive, we can then go sideways into our manual shift mode as well, which makes driving a bit more interesting. Moving back from that, we do have a little uh, spot here, meaning this is a two-wheel drive variant, because otherwise it'd be the four-wheel drive button there. We do have two cup holders with two keys. Like I said, this, this car is keyless entry as well as push button start, so you do have two key fobs. On this side of the car here, we do have our seat warmers for our front driver's side with our leather seats, as well as a handbrake just here. Moving now to our center console, this is a leather wrap center console lid. So we open up, it's got two tiers, so you can store your phone and stuff in here, it has a cutaway for your cord. Lift up that one, nice deep center, so center console storage with a 12 volt power outlet as well as a USB and auxiliary port in here as well, which is just in there. Now, we're going to pan around the interior of this car. This car has only done 28,000 Ks. So while we pan around the interior of this car, I'm just going to have a quick look at the, uh, the service history, which we got sitting in the glove box there. So it has had a couple services done. It had a service done at 17,000 Ks and another service done at 28,000 Ks. So it is up to date with its servicing, which is really, really good to see. One last thing I'd like to point out for you before I wrap up this video is the sunroof. So we just go up a little bit. See that it does uh, clo close off the whole moonroof here if it does get too hot. And all you gotta do is just hold it down on this button and it'll open up revealing that the whole roof is actually made of glass. It doesn't open up to the atmosphere, but it does give the car a nice open feeling as well. Nice, smooth operation. Just got to click the button and the roof will do all the work itself, which is really, really fantastic to see. So I'd like to take this time to thank you for watching our walk around video of our 2015 ASX XLS. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 9907 and one of our friendly staff will be happy to help with your inquiry.